Okay, so this is the AM radio I've converted to Bluetooth so it can connect to your phone. And basically I'll show you how it works. So I'll take the top off. And I've just got this unit, I'll turn it off. I've just got this unit I've bought off Amazon and it's just a Bluetooth. I've put a, I'll put a link to it in the description. But um, yeah, it's just an ordinary Bluetooth soundboard. You can get loads of different ones. The reason I wanted this one is because it's got this volume control here and um basically before i connected to this it was just an ordinary switch and you'd switch it so it'd go and then it'd be off and then you until it clicks it'd be on and then you do the volume from there on and then you click it put it back to minimum volume and then it clicks and that's when it's turned off like this so hear that click it's on and there's a blue light there and then you just do the rest of the volume it goes all the way up all the way down and the way i've connected it so this was the original tune-in for the radio when it was an AM radio. So I've taken all the guts out of the radio and um, there, there was just a hole inside of this little tube here. And I just, the luckily enough for my radio, I think this is a um, Radio Mobile 80, I think it's called. You can get quite a few of them. Um, and the uh, volume control from the Bluetooth module fit into that perfectly. I just put a bit of glue around it to keep it in. And from there on, all I'd done was I connected to one speaker, just a cheap speaker, to see if it worked. So you've got the, these, this is the left hand speaker, right hand, you've just got the screws and you screw the wires in and I just, you know, took it through the back of the radio and it went to the speaker. And here we've got the, the um, this is the power supply. I just drilled a hole through the radio so that goes in. And yeah, so that's just a pos positive and negative DC. And I will, I will definitely recommend if you'd want to do it, uh, a few put a fuse in this is a little three amp fuse i've got inside of it never do anything like this with that what i will say is if you're going to do this do it at your own risk you know i might give you a bit of it, like help of like what i've done but you know it's at your own risk whatever goes wrong you know that's not on me um but yeah just i would say fuse it it's the best thing to do and yeah so the way i've connected at the minute i've just connected a nine volt battery because it runs the unit is five volt to 24 volts so I put a little nine volt battery on there and yeah, it works perfectly fine. Um, but obviously when you connect it to the car, um, the midget has one uh, one power lead. So you put the positive to that and then the negative is just your ground. So just put it to the chassis or something like that. But yeah, hopefully that helped you.